What's going on guys and girls, my name is Shifter and today I'm here with a brand new episode of the Succession game and uh, I just wanted to come back here right at the beginning because our feast is over and with it the blot and now uh, for, the na for the next nine years we can't celebrate another but I think that's fine, we have... We have honored the tradition enough. Uh, I don't think that uh, Filke or Gandalf, our kind Filke here, likes this too much. So I'm glad that this is over. We've done our duty. And uh, yeah, this is pretty good though. I mean, we're getting extra prestige, piety, and 15% morale. So the gods have been appeased. Uh, that's good news. And that should leave us with a rather prosperous realm as that is obviously my goal we have already done some good work the local thieves guild has been er eradicated it appears that our father truly wasn't the most yeah concerned with ruling his lands properly so i think it's a good idea that uh, an administrator such as us is taken over now we're gonna make this a lot better so yeah right now we are embarking or we have already embarked on our journey to venice and we'll be raiding the place and we'll see what kind of plunder we will find the wrath of the old gods in response to the new era of crusades and jihads among the abrahamic monotheists the great Filkir gandalf has informed all germanic gods of his plans for a magnificent Germanic pagan response. In fact, all pagan heads of religion may now declare great holy wars. This could be the beginning of unprecedented heathen aggression. Great Tyr is with us. Okay, that's great news, but I don't think we're quite in a position to make use of this just now. Uh, unfortunately, uh, while I was trying to raid uh, Venice, we have actually been repelled because I had rather terrible commanders right there. I have now, mm, yeah put my brothers in charge and that worked but unfortunately we had already been repelled and so Venice unfortunately is safe for now so I'm uh yeah I, I have to raid other provinces but they're rather prosperous as well over here in Italy so I feel like we're going to be making a lot of money very soon and we'll be able to start a great work a great wonder the great lighthouse of Malta very very quickly it seems as if we didn't quite like our father in the last episode, but we seem to be liking our mother a lot more, and she likes us too. She has been going around Malta for a few days now, praising us as one of the wisest rulers Sardinia has seen in decades. So we gain extra prestige, and even more prestige in tribal vassal opinion. That's very good. I have actually returned with about 100 gold from our raid. It wasn't all that successful. Um, I'm not sure. At some point it said we couldn't loot anymore. I don't know why that was. I feel like what we might have to do is we might actually have to stay at peace a little bit more, let our revies recuperate, and then uh, also our fleets as well. They're just utterly destroyed. I don't know what happened there, but uh, yeah, we're going to try and gather our men a little bit, or we'll let them recover, and then we will go on a much greater raid as well. But for now, uh, that's, uh, that kind of needs to maybe wait. We're just not in a position to properly raid at the moment. Now, thanks to our brother who has initiated a massive recruitment drive in Malta, and due to the fact that we had a little bit of influx of loot, our levies had some time to recuperate, and I've decided that I might actually want to call a great holy war, and that is particularly because I've noticed that Sweden has converted to Catholicism, whereas a lot of the population, or the populace, I, I guess that's what I wanted to say, has not. And so I feel like these are ancestral homelands and we need to make sure that, uh, yeah, they're not oppressed by the Catholics. So what I'm going to be doing is while this man is busy fighting a Slavic uprising and Dyer's host, um, I feel like we should help him out. We'll declare war, a great holy war for Sweden. And uh, we'll see how that goes. I actually... I actually don't know how this is going to go, but uh, I feel like this is something we have to do. And, oh wow, the Holy War has been immediately declared, so this is not like the Crusades. I thought we would have maybe a preparation, but that apparently is not the case. The mighty Filker Gandalf has decided that it is time to teach King Faste of Swibjad and the believers in the dead crucified God another lesson in humility. All free Germanic men are invited to partake in the scouring of the kingdom of Swibjad. The Thunderer is with us. That is true, and so is the arm of the Thunder, although it does appear as if Jar Jaronka is currently in his own war. He has uh, declared war on Amalfi here in the Corsican conquest of Gaeta. 
Uh, I think he's gonna win this one. I'm not too sure. We shall see. But yeah, for now, we are in this war. And I, I was hoping that Jorwig might join. Oh, right. He's attacking East Francia. So maybe I'm on my own here. How many men does this guy have? Actually, not that many. And more importantly, he has got no gold. All right, so we should still be able to do this. And I, ah, oh man, I thought we would get like a beneficiary. This is working completely different than I had expected. All right, well, so this is all on me then. Okay, uh, so I'm going to have to raise my own men. Uh, raise the levies here too. Raise the fleet levies. Okay. Uh, sure. So we'll get you guys together. You have to kind of stop here. Get your boats together. Get you guys on there too. Yeah, so uh, we have like... Uh, I know what this is. Uh, I know what this is. Someone has set up these rally points. I'm going to get rid of that because... Yeah, that... No. I don't like it. It, it doesn't work on islands all that well. So we're not going to be doing that. You actually need to stay. Because this is super annoying. Like, like if, if the troops would immediately go onto the boats, then that would work. But since that's not the case, this is just kind of annoying. So, we're going to do this a little bit differently here. I like the idea, but it's just not working. So, there you go. Uh, that should be fine now. We'll gather our troops, and I guess we're going to move to Upland here. And then I don't quite know what I'm going to do. If we are successful there, I likely will just give out these lands. We'll have to see. So we have arrived in the Baltic Sea. We actually took a different course than I had anticipated. We're actually, uh, yeah, uh, going up the river here instead of going around. I guess that was faster. And yeah, on our, well, while that happened, our wife was pregnant the entire time and actually gave us twins. So we now got our son Hizing here, but he's going to be renamed. Our son will be known as Rumi, and then we'll have our daughter she'll be known as Sienna now I'm not sure if that is how it's spelled but those are basically Druzhnik's co-hosts so if she can't play as herself necessarily uh, she'll at least play as Rumi actually well that's the goal uh Joranka is still our heir um, and I think it's fine for now because we don't want to have someone that is uh, in a regency. But I, I don't even know if the Agnatic Eldership Succession would allow for that. But um, yeah, if, if we live long enough for a son to come of age, I will obviously nominate him for the, uh, well, for our successor. Okay, but yeah, for now we have arrived and there's a pretty large host of men that... Uh, is declaring war. We have so far been very unlucky. All kinds of people have joined against us, but almost nobody has joined our side. And this is, yeah, obviously a bit unfortunate. I wasn't, I, I was expecting a crusade, right? I was expecting that we would get time to prepare, we would get people joining in, but that is clearly not the case. So yeah, I would have, had I known that, I would have not declared the war, but oh well, this is the way it is right now. We're going to see how it goes and uh, I'll be back once we actually have a battle. So a big battle is just happening. We actually did capture Sundermanland, but it's already been retaken. And now the, yeah, we're being attacked. We have half their numbers. Luckily, we have a straight crossing in our defense, but I don't see this going particularly well. They do have a lot of light infantry, and we have way better commanders here. So we could win if we're like very lucky but chances are we're just going to get destroyed yeah we're going to be overwhelmed as you can see here unless there's like some uh battlefield duel that will kill their commanders we're just going to get destroyed. as you can see we're going to get destroyed yeah very unfortunate so that ends the great holy war again had i known it would work this way yeah i i'm, I'm gonna just call this off i guess um we are oh we're gonna lose 800 gold that's so bad I would like to go for this, but he will not accept this. All right, fine. Well, on that note, yeah, um, I'm going to have to just call it a day. That's very unfortunate. I didn't know it would work that well uh, that way. So, all right, fine. The Great Holy War has failed. I simply surrendered. There was no chance of us winning. Uh, the enemy troops had actually made their way to Malta and sacked our keep, which is something I, yeah, I just really didn't want to continue anywhere. anyway. And so, yeah, we've lost tons of money we're back to basically nothing so the last five years we played were completely you know 
wasted. So yeah, as I said, we're not a great conqueror. We've definitely we've definitely noticed that right now. If it wasn't clear before, it is clear now. And we're gonna move over to the business uh, focus uh, and try and make some money. I have the goal to build a war chest. Then I want to see our realm prosper, and hopefully that will uh, that will be a lot more successful. Some really sad news, our mother has finally died of severe stress. She did a really good job of uh, helping us here in our difficult start. Kind of unfortunate that she died, died like this, but hey, what can I do, right? Uh, I have now appointed someone else as our spy master. Not really the greatest person, but we'll have to make do. We also had another son. I call them Chief Gandalfson. Yeah, great. And all of our other children are doing fine for now, though. Drojnik is... Uh, afflicted with camp fever. I hope that will sh uh, that she'll survive. She is young and strong. I hope that uh, I hope that she will. We'll see. So this is interesting. The merry men of Malta. Our sheriff has came to us today because there are apparently bandits loose in Malta. Uh, there is no modifier here, so this is a different event. I think we're gonna set a trap for them. I think this would probably be mostly what Gandalf would do because we're a patient man and stuff like that. So yeah, set a trap for them and uh, unfortunately we did not become diligent. Hmm. Now our brother, the Arm of the Thunder, has declared several wars and he's losing all of them. Uh, he has uh, declared war in Genoa, he lost his war against Amalfi. His lands are just always going to get taken very quickly so yeah, that's kind of unfortunate. He has conquered some lands but it's just not enough. Uh, I will go on a new raiding here very soon once we know what has transpired with the Merry Men of Malta. So we weren't successful the last time we did it, but on this attempt, I have confidence that we're going to win. We've got 6,000 raiders, and there's almost no defenders here. Or at least the ones that are here should be destroyed easily. We're going to get a lot of loot, and I actually also mean to sack the city itself, which should allow us to get even more money. Also, we have just uh, finished our ambition to build a war chest, which give us gives us extra national tax, and now I want to see our realm prosper, which will hopefully also help with revolt risk. So yeah, let's land our troops. Oh my god, the morale is so bad, but we should win here. Now, I have funded a couple of craftsmen a while ago, and it turns out this is very successful. Good. So we've got 800 gold, we need 600 more, and I hope uh, all that money we can gain from this raid. That's my plan, and then we can start a great lighthouse. Okay, so, oh my god, they were actually much fiercer than I expected, but um, yeah, this is going to go very well. We should be raiding money now, right? We are. Very good. Okay, so we have a potential of getting 700 gold out of this, and that will be enough for our great lighthouse. So hopefully, uh, I'll be back next time, and we can start the construction. Now, I actually wasn't quite aware that I was leading troops personally. I didn't mean to. I'm pretty sure that I just gave this to my brothers. Oh yeah, so apparently I was leading like a sub-command here. Ah, alright. That wasn't actually my plan, but I guess it's cool now. Because during the sack of Rimini here, we have become a renowned and fearsome Viking raider. So that's cool. I guess even though I was more of an administrative person, we still are living up to our ancestors' traditions here. So that's really cool. And we are very close. We've got 500 gold. Actually, if we were to go back right now, we would have enough money. But I do want to finish um, a little bit of the raids here. There's nothing to be had in Ancona. But, <coughs> wow, there's actually, <laughs> excuse me, 50 gold to be had in Achillea. So let's actually go ahead back onto our boats and we'll finish some more raiding and then I'll return gloriously and we can start the construction of a great wonder. All right, so this time our raid has been a true success. We have returned with full, with, well, our holds fully laden with gold and uh, other, yeah, I guess, things, other valuables. Uh, 700 gold is what we got, 700 prestige as well. Of course, we get another influx of loot. Although, you know, I always hope that this is more than 5%, but I, I guess this is all it can be. So either way, uh, that was really good. We have also gotten rid of like a smuggler's ring, thieves guild, and all these kinds of things. So our uh, domain is pretty much, yeah, actually very well improved. There's still a highway rubber band here in Galura, in Thieves Guild, but other than that, we've got our domain under control. I'm going to be standing down these troops now. The retinue 
you guys can actually resign. I don't need you in command right now. I might give you... Yeah, I'll have you train troops in Malta, though. And you can perform statecraft again. We'll send down the ships. And uh, we are going to use our money to construct a great... Or begin, begin the construction of a great work. A great lighthouse. This is going to take 22... Well, 23 years, basically. Um, but hey, you know what? That's the way it is. I wonder... I wonder if there's a way to improve the speed of that. I guess there might be. Hold on. Um, oversee construction, local build time. I don't know if that is the case. But hey, you know what? I don't know if that works for Wonders too. Um, I guess we'll try. But there's also construction sabotage. I don't know. Uh, you know what? No, I'm not going to risk it. I'm actually just going to put you there. That's fine. And yeah, we'll see how that goes. I guess we'll be going raiding a little bit more. We can once again... Oof, we actually have a lot of people imprisoned. I never knew. Let's ransom those people. We can worship the ancestors again. Recruit a court physician. That seems to be necessary. And I guess we'll do that. And yeah, share your wisdom with me. Let's see what that brings us. I don't know if I want to hold this thing again. Um, probably not. Although it did give us quite a lot of piety and stuff. Has it already been nine years? Yeah. Okay, so this worked last time. Maybe this feast. Maybe we're going to go with a big feast. It's very expensive, but hey, we've got the money, so might as well. And together with the goatee. Is that goat? I don't even know what that is. Does that mean priests or something? Apparently. May the ancestors bestow their blessing upon me. Let's see what they've what they've got. Okay, so you paid your ransom. That's nice. And our scouts inform us of a most skilled physician. Sure, we'll take that risk. We'll take this guy on. And we'll ransom more of you. Um, okay, that's fine. Yeah, I don't really want to hold the great blot just now. I think that's maybe not the best course of action. How's our children doing? Pretty good. Uh, Drozhnik has become homosexual and shy. Okay, that's what a priest education does to you, I suppose. But still, I've got great plans for her. But um, it appears as if I'm not going to be able to get go through with them in this episode. I'll end it here, and I'll be back next time. Uh, and, and we'll see how far the construction has come. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.